Welcome to AI Bedtime Stories. Today's story is called, The Great Cheese Conspiracy. In the quaint town of Breberg, where every cobblestone was seasoned with the scent of aged cheddar and the winds whispered of mozzarella, National Cheese Day was not merely a celebration. It was the Gouda, the bad, and the ugly of culinary rivalries. Once a year, the town's cheesemakers gathered for the Cheesepire State Building competition, crafting towers of tantalizing cheese that stretched towards the sky. However, this year, the cheese wheels of fate were about to turn, spinning a tale of satire that would leave the town laughing for years to come. Enter Monty Blue, a sharp witted and slightly eccentric cheese critic known for his biting reviews and pun laden prose. Monty had never met a cheese he didn't have an opinion on and his word could make or break the cheesemakers of Breberg. As the competition approached, he prepared to unveil his masterpiece, a critique that would expose the underbelly of the cheese industry, a satirical exposé titled, The Great Cheese Conspiracy. The day before National Cheese Day, as the cheesemakers were prepping their dairy-built skyscrapers, Monty began to suspect something curdled in the state of Breberg. The town's reigning cheese champion, Cheddar Charlie, was rumored to be introducing a revolutionary new cheese, said to be so delicious it could cause an epiphany with every bite. Intrigued and skeptical, Monty decided to investigate. His journey led him through the storied streets of Breberg, from the secretive blue cheese caves beneath Limburger Lane to the airy lofts where the famed Breberg Brie was aerated. Everywhere he went, whispers of Cheddar Charlie's new cheese grew louder, and so did the rumors of a conspiracy involving the town's dairy farmers a renegade biologist, and an ancient cheese recipe that could change the world. On the morning of National Cheese Day, the town square was abuzz with excitement. Cheesemakers from all walks of life, wheeling their monstrous creations on carts, wagons, and in one case, a forklift, gathered under the watchful eyes of Monty Blue and the rest of Breberg. Monty, notebook in hand, prepared for a day of satire and cheese, ready to unravel the so-called conspiracy. As the competition kicked off, the air filled with the sharp tang of competition and the rich, earthy smell of artisan cheese. Monty's investigation took a turn when he discovered that Cheddar Charlie's secret ingredient was nothing more than a clever marketing ploy. A regular cheddar dyed with exotic fruit juice to appear mystical and rare. Armed with this cheesy intelligence, Monty decided it was time to reveal the truth. In the middle of the competition, with everyone's attention on the towering cheese structures, he climbed the main stage, cleared his throat, and began to read from The Great Cheese Conspiracy. His satirical expose, laden with puns and dramatic revelations, had the crowd in stitches. He unveiled Cheddar Charlie's deception, poked fun at the absurdity of cheese elitism, and called for a celebration of all cheeses, without prejudice or pomp. The response was uproarious applause and laughter. The cheesemakers, realizing the folly of their rivalries, joined in the jest. Cheddar Charlie, a good sport, conceded his ruse and even shared his mystical cheddar with the crowd, which, despite its ordinary origins, tasted all the better for the laughter it induced. National Cheese Day concluded with Monty Blue being hoisted atop shoulders, the newly crowned king of cheese satire. His critiques, now eagerly anticipated and beloved, continued to champion the simple joys of cheese, while always reminding the townsfolk to take their cheese, but not themselves, seriously. Thus, the Great Cheese Conspiracy became a legend in Breberg, a yearly reminder during National Cheese Day that while cheese could divide, laughter and a good story were sure to unite.